Hello folks, what's going on? It's Austin Putnam here from Flick Direct, and I'm here to give you guys my early review of a Netflix horror film that is hitting the streaming service next Friday, and that is I'm Thinking of Ending Things. So I'm Thinking of Ending Things, like I just mentioned before, is a horror film hitting Netflix next Friday. It is written and directed by Charlie Kaufman, who is a name you might recognize from Anomalisa, and also Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. And in I'm Thinking of Ending Things, it follows a couple, a more of a new couple played by Jesse Plemons and also Jesse Buckley as they travel to basically the farmhouse of where Jesse Plemons character grew up as a little kid and not just on the car ride but once they get to this farmhouse let's just say things get very tense eerie strange and a bit weird this was a movie guys that I knew pretty much nothing about. I mean, I knew it was made by Charlie Kaufman, to which I do admire his style and his writing. I only knew it was done by him, and it was a horror film, and I love horror films. I really dug this movie a lot. Starting off with the performances, everybody in this movie, considering that this is pretty much a four-person cast, Jesse Buckley, Jesse Plemons, also David Thelewis, who also worked on Alamo and Lisa with Charlie Kaufman, along with Tony Collette, to which she should have been, she should have gotten the Oscar for Red Terry, just saying. The four of them are so good in this movie. I mean, the moment that you see, especially David Thewlis and Tony Collette, you just, you sense something is off the moment that they go set foot into the farmhouse. You just feel that something is off. But if I were to be real with you guys, Jesse Buckley steals the show in every single scene that she is in. You just feel the uncomfortableness, if that's a term for it, that she feels throughout this entire film, especially when the very first thing that she thinks in her head is, I'm thinking of ending things. Now, something that I gotta say as well, is this movie a horror film? I really wouldn't call this a horror film. I mean, there are some really creepy moments, but really the best way I can describe the horror and I'm thinking of ending things is that it's a very tense film. I mean, the moment that Jesse Buckley gets into Jesse Plemons' character's car they go on their road trip, it just feels tense and it feels eerie. Really, the best way I can describe this movie is that it just feels eerie the moment that it starts. That feeling does not end until the very end of this movie. And there are definitely some moments in it where I just thought, hold up, what was that? And there are more than a couple of moments where that happened. There are some very strange moments into which you'll be thinking, huh? Definitely a lot of other moments. There's a couple of reveals that I just thought, whoa. One thing in particular that I must praise about I'm thinking of ending things is the cinematography. Oh my word. This is easily some of the best cinematography I have seen all year. Now, I don't remember the film cinematographer. I know that the cinematographer shot Cold War. But one thing in particular that I love about Charlie Kaufman's films is that he has a very dream wet quality to his images, especially since this film takes place the majority, well, actually, you no, know, 98% of it in a blizzard. The shots that Charlie Kaufman, the cinematographer, captures is just, I'm going to say it again, dreamlike and the score of this movie is absolutely just again eerie and something else i gotta talk about as well is i saw this movie last night there are still some certain things about this movie that i have not stopped thinking about other things i'll talk about in a little bit but for the majority of this movie this movie really takes a deep dive into many things i was not expecting about oneself about a relationship and just about many other things and throughout Really last night, because I watched this late at night, I could not stop thinking about certain things that were said in this movie, really in the best way possible. However, as much as I really dug this movie, I didn't love it like I wanted to. Now, something that I will say about I'm Thinking of Ending Things is this. This movie is not going to be for everybody. It is just not. And the reason specifically why I know why is because... In the first 20 minutes of this movie, what this movie is, especially in that first 20 minutes, is that it's just conversations now to be fair there are very eerie intense conversations however at the same time it is still a slow opening act and for that reason alone i can see many people being turned off by this movie i can see a lot of people actually turning this movie off now however the conversations for the most part were definitely very interesting for me at least i definitely felt that sense of eeriness i've definitely felt a lot of tension throughout the certain things and there were definitely a couple of things that just felt off, but in a good way at least. However, 
there were definitely a couple of times within that opening 20 minutes where I was like, okay, let's speed it up. Let's get to seeing Tony Collette and all that. There are a couple of other things I was thinking about that happened in the third act specifically that I don't know if they are in conjunction to what's going on with the movie itself, with the plot of the film, but there was a certain thing that happened in the third act where I just thought, what does this have to do with what's going on right now? It looked really cool what's happening to which I was full for you guys because it's a really beautifully done sequence. However, at the same time, I just kept thinking, what is this doing here in relation to the plot? I actually read the plot synopsis of the book after I saw this film, and there's a particular reveal and an event that happens near the end that I kind of wish was in the movie. I mean, I can understand why it wasn't because it's kind of disturbing what happens. However, I feel like that if they put this reveal in the movie, it would have been insane. But nonetheless, guys, I do overall recommend I Am Thinking of Ending Things. It's a very strange film. It's a very weird film, but it's also one of the most eerie and one of the most tense films I have seen in a long time. So I would definitely recommend it. However, just keep in mind, it's not gonna be for everybody, but if you're a huge Charlie Kaufman fan, without a doubt, watch this movie. It's a very eerie film. And I actually probably might rewatch it very, very soon just to get every little thing, every little detail that this movie has in store. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for my review of I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Please comment down, let me know below, or let us know below here at Flick Direct. Are you guys looking forward to this film a lot? What is your favorite Charlie Coffin film? Let us know below. I hope y'all enjoyed our review of I'm Thinking of Ending Things. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and do not forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell for whenever the latest video from us goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two videos, please click on the right there or there. And of course, until our next review or video, we will see you guys next time. Have a great day.